Hey everybody, it's Warboss Fitz, and tonight I have had one hell of a week. So, tonight instead of a game, we're going to do a little painting tutorial. Now, I have seen online, um, actually a little, little short videos of the sponge printing technique. And I thought, you know, let's give it a shot. So what I have here is a piece of old couch cushion that I've been abusing for years. <laughs> if you ever need a whole lot of sponge, find an old couch cushion, fish out of the garbage, you got spongy material forever. So, what we are going to be painting, this is the exosuit for uh, the Battle Sisters for One Page Rules. And we're going to do kind of, I'm looking to do kind of a desert theme on it. So this base isn't the base it's going to be on, it's the only one I had that was big enough to hold it. At the moment, you're going to hear my printer in the background humming, then it's going to get new bases. You're also going to hear the TV in the background because, uh, well, just, just because. <laughs> so, we're going to do the three colors. We're going to do Doomble Brown, a little bit of Orange Brown, and then some Cork Brown on it to start with the, start with the armor plates. Angle this a little better. Sorry, you guys know me. I'm not professional in the slightest. There we go. I'm good. Well, light's not great, but it's what we got. So I won't be a heathen, use it right out of the pot. Stick a little bit, a little bit of this on my tweezers. Now, if we don't get into all the recesses, that's okay, because what I'm going to do is, you can kind of see it here, I have a pretty hot patch of uh, brown oil wash I'm going to use on it at the end. So that will get all of our deep, deep shadows that we need. At least I hope. I don't know. Everything's an experiment. Alright, so we're going to cheat a little bit with the brush. Some of those up and under spots like right there the little grot just came down to talk to me and he went upstairs because daddy's being boring and, and quiet tonight <laughs> Now, of course, like all kids do, he sees me painting and he says, Daddy, I want to paint. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go buy a big old bag or bucket of Green Army Men and expand my collection of apple barrel paints and then just let the kid go nuts. So, who knows, someday you might see a army of Green Army Men on the channel and that'll be his. All right, so we're just gonna give that a minute to dry. And yeah, I cheated. I used a brush for some of it, but you know, there's no way I'm gonna get a, sp a sponge up in all these spots. And I can see why most of the videos that I've seen do this start with black instead of gray. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the orange brown. Wait, orange brown? Yeah. Yeah, moving on to the orange brown. <clears throat> no, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm take a little bit of that off. Just because I feel like there'd be a whole lot on that sponge. But maybe that's the point. Let's find out.
tell you what, I kind of like it so far, but of course, <laughs> it's just me liking stuff that looks rusted. Do you think I may have found my new, uh, I, I, I think I may have found a new rust combination here. All right, next color we're going to go for is cork brown. This is the way the armor has come out. I say it looks uh, look pretty cool. And uh, start doing some black for all the creases, like you can see the interior of a a gimbal or a gyro or part of a suit. Yeah, so let's do the black first. So for our black. We're gonna do some grim black, grim black speed paint. Here's the way our black looks. Uh, just did the, did the undersuit, the cabling, some of the weapons. Now we're going to move on to the white, which you all know me, it's the cheap cheapy. All right, so this is how the white has come out. Um, the finish on it isn't perfect, but you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it like that because with the oil wash and the other paints I'm gonna put on it, I, I think the streaking effect I have on the white is actually gonna help out the way it looks. So next we're gonna move on to the metals. Now for our metals, this is what we're using. Uh, it's it's the same thing, just I bought this one two days ago and this one's almost out, so let's finish this off. Alright, so here we are with the metal done. I don't, I think I'm going to put the part in where, uh, this section right here, I'm not sure why, but the paint came, well, I know why. The paint came off as soon as I touched it. Um, apparently there was still a little uncured resin sitting on the top of it. Which is weird, because whenever I 
print my models. I double dip them into 100% acetone and then let them air dry for a day. And then when I primed her, when I primed her, didn't look like I had an issue. But <clears throat> it'll probably be out of focus, but I'll, I'll do a little montage of how I fix that. You know, you scrape the paint back, dip a Q-tip in some acetone, wipe off what I can there. Pretty much clean off the whole panel with the acetone. Give her a few, give her about 30 seconds to dry and start over. So... As I move through, you'll see me fixing that spot <laughs> in, the, in the steps to come. So next we're going to go for our edges of the cloth, and we're going to use some skeleton hoard to make it nice and tan looking. All right, there we go. A little bit of skeleton hoard on there, and then just fill the brush up with some water and dilute it, and it gives you that kind of medieval white, but also full of crap on the edges, <laughs> brown color. All right, next we are going to tint the metallics. So we're gonna do some gold and brass on here. So for the gold, we're just going to coat it in zealot yellow. And for the brass, it's going to get a coat of sand golem. All right, there's our gold, our brass, and then I also used a little bit of the grim black again. Diluted it down to use it on the stick of the mace because oh, it was just too bright to me. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna put our red Templar crosses. I think I'll put one right there. I'm going to try to put one at the bottom down there. So, we'll see what happens. And for that, I'm going to use Dark Vermilion. All right, there we go. I mean, it's not perfect, but you know, it's me. <laughs> I'm not looking for perfect, I'm looking for okay. All right, everybody, this is where this is gonna sit tonight. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward you through the magic of editing. And uh, I'm gonna matte varnish this, and then when we come back, we'll be on the oil wash. Hey, everybody, here we are back for day number two. We got a new matte coat nice and dry and then the bases that I have for these exo seeds are complete this is this is me having pain on my finger when I took it out of the acetone cracked desert base so we'll be doing that here shortly I think I'm gonna oil wash it prime this paint this clean the oil off and pin her down now for our oil wash we take uh, this stuff just Good old oil paint. We're going to use some burnt umber today. Mix it in some paint thinner. This is stuff I had mixed up before, but if you'll notice, whenever you let it sit for a while, the oil and the paint thinner will separate. So you got to give her a scrub. There we go. That's the that's what we're looking for right there. Now, because this stuff will stain like crazy, you want to get something to set it on. And then, as you hear, my dog's going crazy. Mailman must have come by. I 
right, she's all goopy, and we're gonna let her sit. Now, <laughs> we got a little tub of paint there in here. We're just gonna go in. I'm just gonna go in and do some cleanup. So this is where we are with the oil wash. Now we're just gonna let that sit and dry and we're gonna move on to the base. Okay, with the base again, basic cheapy white, and we're gonna do some dry brushing. Now we got the dry brushing done, we're, we did a little heavier around the edge to simulate a shadow in the middle. Um, this is my first shot at these bases, so let's do, we're gonna do a pallid bone across most of it. We'll see how that works. Okay, we are left with this. Um, I'm gonna do more steps to this because I'm not really liking that in total, but we are gonna do the, the stick. And then, uh, see, all it takes is to dry. Now, while we wait for this to dry, I'm gonna try to do some highlights to the metal on this one, mostly the face. I don't know if you can see it, but I kind of took off the tip of the nose there. <laughs> But we're going to do some highlights to the face. Uh, maybe some of the other metal. It's still wet. I never said I'm a professional. We're experimenting here. And for that, we're going to use some straight silver. So there's our highlights on, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow back on the face. Alright, so there we go. We got our pop back in the gold. Now, we're going to do the hardest part, which is put everything down and let it dry fully. And then we'll mess with it some more. Alright, everything's set for about six hours. Here we go. This is what she looks like so far. Do shot of the back and the base. The base kind of calmed down from where it was when I started, but I'm still gonna do. I'm gonna do some dry brushing over top of this. For that, we're gonna use a little bit of wraith bone. Alright, I am happier with that. Now, with this girl, we just gotta take her off the base. Ta da! Alright, so I got a problem. I found my pin vise. I just don't know where all my chucks are or where all my drill bits are. Never mind, I was gonna use my Dremel and I found my pin vise drill on my Dremel. Imagine that. We got our hole there. And a hole there. And there she is, all pinned in place. And now for the rim, we're gonna use a little bit of that cork brown that we used on the armor earlier, just to kind of eh, tie it all in. This model is complete. Now I don't have one of those spinny thingies that you see everyone on YouTube has. This is a reminder to me, Mr. Editor Guy, buy a spinny thingy so you can show off stuff. So there she is in all of her glory. So this is uh, the first model of my blessed sisters for One Page Rules. As you can see, I got plenty of them back there in boxes and bins and waiting for their turn. So uh, yeah, this has been War Boss Fits. We're going to be signing off. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, ding the things, and uh, remember to keep on having fun out there, guys. See you next time.